So kid, what's your name anyway? My name is Nano, N-A-N-O, bitch! Nigga, you ain't nothing but a motherfucking joke All his body's funny, he's had this shit you done broke Gotta stay high, cause I'm fake, stay on the low And I ain't with the fake shit, so I'ma stay blowing smoke I ain't worried about shit, I ain't worried about a beer Cut me real quick, nigga, take a fucking hit I'm just a young nigga that is truly, too legit I ain't playing games, but the perp got me glitch Going up the top, nigga Ayo, what's goody? It's your boy Nano bringing you another vlog. Today, we got this man's goatee and he's gonna be playing a little bit of Call of Duty for you. And Yeti, he's also gonna be companionship in him. I almost have gold on my MP5, dude. Check it out. He almost has gold on his MP5, guys. I got two skins to go. Oh, shit. What the fuck? There we go. Alright, yo, so today I decided to whip out the camera. The real reason, I already thought of title for this vlog. It was going to be like a day in the life in Texas with no AC. Because that's what I'm going to have to deal with. I want to know how many of you guys also don't have AC in y'all's car. Hopefully y'all ain't as broke as me and can get that shit fixed. But my ass, this is like what, my third summer with no AC or some shit like this? It's fucking bad, dude. It's really bad. Like I'm sweating bullets. And all I'm doing is walking. Y'all hear this shit? It be bullshitting me. And dude, I swear my transmission is fucking up. I'm really sad. But your boy's finna head to the post office. Got some bootleg anime t-shirts to ship out. And we go ahead to the thrift store. Who lit this shit? Oh yeah, I need to bring me a rag. Boys, I just got done at the post office. Dude, red lights are my worst fucking enemy when it comes to not having AC, bruh. I'm just sitting here sizzling, cooking up in this motherfucking tin can, boy. But I'm heading to the garage sale. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know that there is, there's a thrift store called the garage sale in my town where they actually closed it down, but they've always had two different locations. But the other location was mostly like for like big beds and stuff like that. But I'm gonna head there and see what's up, man. Hopefully the employees that worked at this other one are over there and we can have a chat because I haven't seen them in forever. Yo, so I really don't be in here at all. And they got motherfucking deer heads. What is that? A moose? What is that? An ox? That's crazy. They got a whole ass moose up in here. Oh, is that a fucking warthog? Big. Stop playing with me. Boys, I'm out that store. Unfortunately, this is all I got. But it does have this thing it's called mall madness it's this little cd looking thing that you see right there i looked it up and there's this play set that sells for two thousand dollars so i didn't find this exact toy right here but hopefully it sells for a nice decent amount i only paid two bucks they had a lot of good stuff in there a lot of good shit but i know that they look up stuff on ebay because they have it exactly priced like it is on ebay which is unfortunate Hey yo, what's goody? It's your boy Nano bringing another what's so video. I got this nice little ring light on my camera. Hopefully it makes the my, it makes it look better. You know, I'm trying something out here, but I got nine items to show you. Gonna ship them all out tomorrow. I feel like all these nine cells are good things that you guys should look out for and pick up as well if you get it for the right price, of course. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Let's get straight to it. First up, we got this Air Force Base Museum in Denison, Texas t-shirt. It's got some really nice dope graphics on the sleeves. Got fighter jets over here on this side looking really, really dope. On this side, you got the American flag with the eagle. Right here, we got this Adidas NBA basketball, Dallas Mavericks green um, stripe back hat, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And I paid a buck for it, so I made some nice little profit on that. I picked this t-shirt up at Goodwill, so I paid around three bucks for it. Next up, I got this vintage 1985 Matchbox, super fast. The fastest Matchbox cars ever. And it is a SF9 280Z6 Turbo, and it sold for 17 bucks plus shipping. A really, really nice sale. And as you can see, I only paid 65 cents for that bad boy at Goodwill. Got this bad boy in a huge little toy lot. It is this vintage 1991 Tessamura DC Comics Batman Returns Batmobile plastic squeeze toy. And it honestly looks like something that would come like in a shampoo little i don't know if you guys remember but like back then they used to either have this type of thing like on water bottles or candies or like i said right now 
shampoo they used to have like shampoo kits and it would always come with stuff like this so i'm pretty sure that's what this is a part of because it definitely ain't no toy that they were selling in the toy section like this definitely had to come with like something else i'm always picking up build a bear workshop um animal plushes i only pick up the interesting ones i'm always coming across you know just normal ass bears but this one you know he's kind of looking cool polka dotted with hearts and it sold for 12 bucks plus shipping and let me see if it says what i paid for it on the tag it usually does if it doesn't then it definitely means i paid 99 cents for that guy right here we got this vintage 1978 pepsi walt disney happy birthday mickey mouse eating tray and it is just a little tray that you set on the table you know for your kid to eat on and it's still in really really nice condition nobody definitely used it to eat on and that bad boy sold for 10 bucks plus shipping and i paid a dollar for this for sure not a big seller right here but it is this blizzard entertainment diablo video game promo t-shirt and it sold for eight dollars and fifty cent and that is because i sent out offers i did pay three bucks for this at goodwill but i definitely would pick this up again because it did make me profit didn't sit around for that long and i mean it doesn't take up that much space and i feel like video game tees do really well right here i'm, I'm covering up the light but we got these vintage 90s nike athletic windbreaker pants and they do got the little ankle zipper at the bottom so they are desirable got a nice little blue embroidered check right there that blends in perfectly with the pants you can't even tell that it's there but those bad boys sold for 20 bucks plus shipping and i sent out an offer for those as well those are all the sales for today i'll be back with some more i do got a pretty cool video coming it is going to be on these t-shirts right here i got more coming in but they are bootleg anime t-shirts that i should be able to make a lot of money on but i'll catch you on the flip but anyways i gotta get these items packed and ready to ship out today so let's get straight into it first all up we got these women's nike burgundy paisley laser floral shoes size 9 they sold for 20 bucks plus shipping i've had these for the longest i remember i picked them up at play-dohs for around the same price like at 19.99 so i literally made no money on those they just sat around for the longest terrible buy next up you got this vintage schlumberger belt buckle from the oil fields and it has Saudi Arabia engraved right there. This bad boy sold for $37.99 plus shipping. And I remember, I think I paid around five, five, six bucks for this guy. Really, really good profit on there. Found these bad boys recently at Safety. I paid a buck each for them. And they sold for 17 bucks together. And they are these vintage Chap May. I don't think they're vintage, actually. They are Chap May. And I think this is from the movie Jaws. I'm not 100% sure. I was seeing like some mixed result results, but I put Jaws in my title. And yeah, it's a whale, it's a whale and a great white shark. Found this ugly little doll at a garage sale recently and I got it in like a huge little toy lot. This is one of the few that I've listed and it sold for seven bucks plus shipping. It is dated 1968. So this is one old motherfucker. We got a sus ass book right here. <laughs> no cap, man. I Want to Be Naughty by Mei Sakagura Manga Book Kitty. That's what I titled it. And yeah, it's pretty much this gay book, and it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Forgot where I got this. I don't know if I found this at Goodwill or got it off of somebody on Facebook, but I definitely have like a dollar invested into this, and it sold for seven bucks plus shipping. And you see exactly what it is, man. Brand new in box. I always love picking up brand new toys if they're cheap and you know i can sell for a profit right here you got this set of six vintage finsbury fine bone china cats sewing thimble and yeah they got little cats on them i'm not exactly sure what sewing thimbles are for but uh yeah these guys sold for really good i think i paid three bucks for them right here we got a vintage 1996 warner bros looney tunes marvin the martian blue crew neck sweater so for 25 bucks plus shipping and i paid under five dollars for it you got some bootleg anime t-shirts right here that i got in this huge bot uh, i bought it from this lady in houston that i got a connection through ebay and i she ended up hooking me up with like over 50 shirts for like 700 bucks and they are selling off really really great this one piece one right here sold for 30 bucks plus shipping this future diary one sold on depop for 40 bucks plus shipping and i really haven't been filming my last couple of day sales i look stupid my hair i, I haven't even done my hair guys but yeah i've been lacking on filming these what sold videos so the other day i sold like eight t-shirts in like a day man she was crazy 
and one one of the one of the persons who bought them she bought five shirts for 250 dollars so shout out to her man right here is an ebay pickup that i bought to sell back on ebay i think i paid seven bucks for this guy and it did have like a stain or something on the back of it that the seller didn't even mention so i left negative feedback i'm not even gonna cap because i messaged him and he didn't even message me back but i ended up selling it for 15 bucks plus shipping i was really impressed at uh, how fast it sold shout out the homie ricardo i'm pretty sure he's the one who hooked me up with this one it's this vintage bootleg polo sport jacket so for 36 bucks plus shipping yeah it's just a nice little bootleg as you can see that tag just looks so sus yeah look at that tag <laughs> That shit look deformed. That's all I got for today. I don't know if I'm going to connect this with another video or not, but I'm out of here. eBay always links in the description below. Go check it out, man. I got dunk, stupid dope heat. Look at this. Look at this. Stuff I haven't listed right here. Woo. Dude, I almost forgot to show you this shirt, which has a funny ass story, man. I don't know if you guys know who Joey Fats is. But he like started like this clothing brand called Cutthroat, right? And it was from this was from his first drop, man. And it was supposed to be this badass t-shirt, right? With this print on it. But it was supposed to be printed like on a cotton tee. And it was gonna have like this vintage faded look to it. What the fuck? You just got you guys just fucking seen that, right? <laughs> but anyways. Dude, and so I paid a hundred bucks for this shirt. I'm not even gonna cap, bro. But I thought this shirt was so badass, man. And then to come to find out, he sends me this cheap ass polyester ass shirt, bro. Looks nothing like the pictures. I'm gonna pop up a picture on screen what it was supposed to look like. And I ended up getting this shit right here, man. Fuck Joey Fats. He was being a hoe too, bro. I was trying to get my refund and shit make it easy and he's like nah bro come on dude this is a startup brand you know we're gonna have problems like this, this is a small issue bro you see me something completely different than what you were showing in your pictures like what but ended up disputing it on paypal and ended up keeping my money and keeping the shirt and flipping it for 45 bucks if i don't know if i already said that so fuck you joey fats you a bitch i don't i got my money back and still made money off your ass ho ass bitch Shooting gun just like a terror when deep in the pussy like a body bury your bitch on the water water name it every your cutie booty I'ma fuck up the uh, woo, I wanna fuck in your mouth I wanna fuck on your daughter your house I wanna make that bitch pussy my spouse Show what you said she open the mouth I put bricks on the bitch 30 Zans off a